Jonathan James, hacker named Comrade, responsible for hacking one of the most important units of NASA. In a rapidly evolving digital age, a baffling incident unfolded that would forever change the landscape of cybersecurity. It was an intrusion that defied logic, targeting one of the most fortified organizations in the world, NASA. This startling revelation posed several perplexing questions. What drove a young high school student to breach the defenses of a national agency? Was it mere curiosity, a desire for recognition, or something more? And how did a teenager acquire such advanced hacking skills? And amidst his tumultuous journey through the realms of cyberspace, what led to his tragic and untimely death at just 24 years old? Jonathan James, later known as Comrade, was a child of the digital era, growing up in a world where technology rapidly evolved and became intertwined with daily life. At the tender age of six, James's fascination with computers ignited when he would discover his father's computer from work and the captivating world of video games that it held. It was a passion that would shape his future as a hacker. He was not only playing video games, he was also dissecting them, understanding their code, and manipulating it to his advantage. However, as James spent increasing hours in front of the computer screen, his parents grew concerned about his screen time and tried to enforce limits. Yet young James possessed a remarkable skill. He had an innate talent for hacking and bypassed these restrictions effortlessly. As he grew older, his interests would evolve, transitioning from gaming into a deep curiosity about the inner workings of computers. One day, much to his father's astonishment, James took it upon himself to convert his father's Windows OS computer into Linux, driven solely by his thirst for knowledge and a desire to explore the unfamiliar territory of a new operating system. This would change everything. Throughout his teenage years, James's obsession with computers and technology would intensify. He devoted countless hours, day and night, to his computer, delving into coding, software development, and the limitless world of tech. At the age of 13, his parents, increasingly concerned about the impact of his digital devotion, decided to take drastic measures. They confiscated his computer, believing it would break his attachment to technology. But James was unyielding in his determination. In a bold act of rebellion, he ran away from home, vowing not to return until his beloved computer was returned to him. He argued that his passion for programming and video games had not hindered his grades, as he consistently earned high marks in school. But little did James know that this pivotal moment would set the stage for a remarkable journey into the world of computers, programming, and technology propelling him toward a future full of unexpected opportunities and challenges. At the age of 15, James took his hacking skills to the next level, and between June 23rd and October 27th of 1999, he would embark on a series of intrusions into various computer systems. His initial target was none other than AT&T Bell South, a major telecom giant in the United States during that time. And although the exact details of his hacking escapades remain somewhat mysterious, it is known that James, who went by the name Comrade, had managed to breach the company's servers without causing any significant harm. His primary motive was not financial gain or even data theft, but instead it was an ambitious test of his hacking abilities on a larger and more challenging target like AT&T Bell South. In June of 1999, James was on the hunt for vulnerable servers that he could access by bypassing their firewalls. And when he identified a susceptible server located in Huntsville, Alabama, he then proceeded to install malware on it. With cunning skill, he escalated his privileges within the system and proceeded to pivot his way into another 13 computers, all connected to the compromised network. But if you thought this was already shocking, it was only the beginning. Jonathan James was now deeply entrenched in the world of hacking as comrade and had embarked on a challenge that would etch his name into the annals of cyber history. His target, the high security networks of NASA and the Department of Defense. 
This wasn't a whimsical decision, but a calculated move driven by a mixture of youthful audacity and intellectual curiosity. Armed with a deep understanding of network vulnerabilities, Jonathan meticulously planned his approach. He managed to bypass multiple layers of security, demonstrating not only technical proficiency, but a strategic mindset that was far beyond his years. His intrusion into these systems was not for monetary gain or to cause havoc. It was to satisfy his insatiable curiosity and to challenge himself against some of the most sophisticated security protocols. He had utilized a piece of software to intercept thousands of internal emails from the Defense Threat Reduction Agency, a division of the Department of Defense. This gave him access to usernames and passwords, which he then exploited to penetrate the network. But here is where it gets interesting. He targeted a specific server used by NASA for the International Space Station, employing his skills to navigate through the network and gain unauthorized access. This particular unit would play a critical role in NASA's operations as it was responsible for developing and testing rocket engines and communication systems for the International Space Station. Comrade had gained access to the source code of a program that controlled essential elements of life support systems on the ISS. This software was valued at millions of dollars due to its importance in maintaining the environmental conditions within the ISS's living quarters. Upon discovering that their network had been compromised, NASA security experts took swift action, disconnecting the compromised server and affected machines, and that effectively isolated the intrusion for a period of three weeks. The consequence of James's actions had resulted in direct damages that amounted to $40,000 for NASA, underscoring the significance and audacity of his hacking skills. Jonathan's methods had demonstrated not only technical prowess, but a strategic approach in identifying and exploiting weaknesses in high security systems. His actions exposed vulnerabilities that shocked experts and raised critical questions about national cybersecurity. This landmark intrusion became a turning point in Jonathan's life, highlighting his extraordinary capabilities while also marking the beginning of a journey that would lead him to confront the legal and ethical ramifications of his actions. The breach of NASA and the Department of Defense had marked a turning point for Jonathan James. His unparalleled skill in navigating these secure networks did not go unnoticed. The FBI and NASA, stunned by the breach, were working together in a comprehensive investigation to uncover the identity of the intruder. The trail led to an unexpected source a teenager in suburban America. Jonathan's arrest would send shockwaves through both the hacker community and the general public. The revelation that a teenager could infiltrate highly secure government networks had challenged any preconceived notions about cybersecurity while raising serious concerns about national security vulnerabilities. Facing federal charges, Jonathan's life was turned upside down the consequences of his actions were severe, extending well beyond legal implications. His family was unprepared for such scrutiny and stress, and it found their lives disrupted and under the microscope. This episode would mark a harsh lesson for Jonathan James about the real-world implications of his online actions, setting the stage for a profound personal transformation. The aftermath of Jonathan James's arrest and legal confrontation marked a period of profound reflection and transformation. Confined within the juvenile detention system, he grappled with the gravity of his actions. This period of enforced solitude would force Jonathan to confront the ethical dimensions of his hacking activities. He began to realize the potential harm and consequence of his intrusions, a realization that had deeply affected him. This introspective journey was pivotal in reshaping his outlook. He began to see his extraordinary skills not as tools for illicit exploration, but as a means to make a positive contribution. This transformation laid the groundwork for his future endeavors in the realm of cybersecurity, turning his past missteps into lessons for a constructive path forward. Jonathan James, known as Comrade in the hacker community, 
unwittingly became a pivotal figure in the evolution of cybersecurity. His unauthorized intrusions into NASA and the Department of Defense, while illegal, had exposed critical vulnerabilities in a seemingly impenetrable system. This breach would serve as a stark reminder of the ever-present dangers in the digital world, compelling organizations to reassess and fortify their cybersecurity measures. Jonathan's legacy is multifaceted. On one hand, it's a cautionary tale of a young and talented individual who had veered from the ethical path, and on the other, his actions had contributed to a heightened awareness and improved security protocol across various sectors. His story is a testament to the complex relationship between cybersecurity and ethical hacking, highlighting the need for continuous advancement in digital security strategies to counteract the skills of even the most unlikely adversaries. In 2008, Jonathan James tragically passed away at the age of 24 after having taken his own life, a conclusion drawn amidst the turmoil and pressures of another federal investigation into cyber crimes, which he claimed that he had no part in. James's death would mark a somber ending to the story of a young and talented individual whose life was both illuminated and overshadowed by his early exploits in the digital realm. This journey, marked by brilliance and missteps, serves as a poignant reminder of the human element behind the screen, the pressures faced by those who find themselves on the fringes of digital exploration, and the often harsh consequences of navigating the complex world of cybersecurity.